Hello there, this is a video to show you everything you need to know about the Simer X5C quadcopter. Now um, the Simer X5C quadcopter is um, a great quadcopter if you're um, thinking of getting into the hobby. So um, what we're going to do in this video is um, we're going to show you through the basic functions, how to fly it and we're going to take it outside and give it a little fly so you can see what it can do. So um, first things first, if you buy one of these you can get them from um, various suppliers um, ranging from 40 to 80 odd pounds plus so um, it depends where you shop. Um, it's a great quadcopter, it's quite easy to learn so first of all we'll look at what you get in the box. I've just pass the camera to my assistant there. Right, okay so in the box you'll get nice box like this and everything in there is included you get the quadcopter comes with four fitted propellers and then also the landing gear guards etc so that's the quadcopter in itself and um, also inside the box you've got the protectors and um, now if you haven't flown quads before and this is a, a first thing for you what you want to do is have these protectors on which um, will change your quadcopter from looking like this and with the protectors on it looks like this now uh, the great thing about this is the, they're easy to um, chop these propellers if you're learning and you're banging in and out of things and you're flying inside but when you bounce into things with this it'll bounce off and protect your propellers so if you're learning and you're starting out definitely have these on um, and you get four of these with the quadcopter now also in the box is the HD camera now this is a great camera, it, um, it records some great footage. If you uh, want to look at the quality of the footage you can get from the HD camera with this quadcopter then um, do have a look at my other videos. But uh, that goes on to the bottom of the quadcopter there and attaches in there and it also comes with a SD card and also a card reader. You also get a spare set of propellers, a little screwdriver, a micro USB card reader so you can just put it, your um, micro SD card from there into the computer easily and um, your little USB charger and of course a battery and the remote control. So that's everything you um, you get in the box there. I'll just um, close this up. Okay, so we'll look at the quadcopter itself. Now, quadcopter comes with a 2.4 gigahertz remote control. Now, um, you can extend the, the extend the range, sorry, on this a little bit. If you have a look at my other videos, you'll um, you can see how you can very easily do that. Now, the first things first, you want to sync your quadcopter up with the remote control. So, you put the battery in the compartment there. Switch in there. Now the important thing when you're syncing your quadcopter up is you want to have it on a level surface. So if we go ahead and this is a good level surface here on the floor there. So syncing the quadcopter up, first of all switch the remote control button on, have your throttle full down, then you want to switch the switch onto the quadcopter. Now you can see the lights flashing, they'll flash fast at first and then they'll go to a steady blinking. When that's steady blinking, the quadcopter is ready to sync with the remote control. So all you do is you do straight up and down in your quadcopter. Now we've got steady light showing. And you can see the quadcopter is ready to fly. So what we'll do is just have a quick look at the control functions there. Now there are two versions of the X5C. There's the um, first version and the second version currently. Um, all the controls are the same apart from one thing on the um, first version and you can tell if you've got the first version because it'll say number one on the instruction manual if it's the second version it'll say number two but with the first version um, all the controls are the same apart from taking a video which is um, done with the top button when you've got the camera fitted with um, the second version it's done with this button there and only works obviously when you've got the camera fitted so um, anyway, that's that's the differences between the two. Um, so your basic functions are: this is your throttle, so that's basically up. So how you do that? You bring the quadcopter up like that. Um, this here also is the throttle button. Will also, if you get it into the middle and you turn left and right, that will spin the quadcopter round like so. So um, here you've got front, backwards, left, 
and right. Okay, so um, I'll just take the uh, camera there. Right, so um, I'm getting the controls there. Um, everything else on the bottom here, those are dummy buttons, so um, just ignore them. Um, so you've got forward, back, left, right, um, up and down, which is the throttle, and the um, full spin around. Now, um, front will be this way. So if you can always keep it that way, that's good. If you um, have a look underneath when you're flying, you can see the red lights are both at the front. So that's the front. Now, as you're flying, you'll find you'll turn from different directions. So obviously, your front changes, and you'll have to adapt. Um, you'll have to adapt to that. So um, that's the basic look at that. Um, everything included in the box there. Recording is is quite good. The quality is um, really good. So. Uh, what we're going to do now is go ahead and um, have a little fly of the quadcopter. Just have a um, last look over at the functions. You've got the um, battery in there, uh, the landing gear here, four motors. Two motors um, turn one way to the other. So you've got two propellers turning one way, two propellers turning the other way. So um, if you ever need to change a motor or anything like that, that's uh, something you need to bear in mind. So um, what we will do, I'll just um, do a short fly indoors. Um, just to show you the responsiveness and then we'll go and take this outside for a quick outdoor flight so let's pass you that so um, what we're going to do is we're just going to lift up there on the throttle to bring it up and see that now to turn it round as I said see the spin there that's, that's how that works and that's how this works obviously everything else is forward backwards, left and right now you can see very responsive this thing is, so um, I'll just move out of the way of it and then uh, just give it a little flight indoors to show you how it flies and um, then we'll take it outdoors for a few minutes. But just to give you an idea of the stability of this thing, very stable. Um, absolute pleasure to fly and it's that good you can flat, literally fly it through your hands and catch it and it will also pick up if you just throw it up into the air so let's bring it up to me and we'll go and take it outside and give it a little fly so you can see what it can do outside and um, one of the good moves if you uh, push your button on the top there and you're a few meters up and go in any direction do a few full 360 flips so we'll do a few flips outside and a few runs around and uh, you can see how this flies Okay, so that easy to do a flip. We'll just do a flip here. There you go. And again. And straight up.
and we'll bring it home. So there you go, that's the Simon X5C quadcopter.